So this is a little program I made to illustrate the footsteps and kickback illusions. The footsteps illusion, you might have already noticed, is when these two rectangles that are moving to the right appear to be taking little alternating steps as they go across the screen. If you lower the bar contrast of the background, you'll see that they're actually moving smoothly. But with that background in place, they seem to be sort of taking little steps across. Uh, and this seems to work best if you're sort of not focusing on them directly. So if you look up at this red dot here, it works pretty well. And I've also provided a dot that moves along with the two rectangles, if you want to try to follow something along and see what effect that gives you. It seems to reduce the footsteps effect for me sometimes, which I think is kind of interesting. So part of what's going on here, if you slow down the speed of the little feet, you can see the leading and trailing edges of each rectangle are crossing from light to dark and dark to light at the same time. So they're both at the light and they go over to dark, they're both on the dark and they go over to light. And so this is what gives the effect of the whole rectangle kind of starting and stopping. Uh, you can change the number of bars that each foot takes up. So now we have an odd number of bars, therefore the front and back are actually changing uh, polarity in opposite ways as they move along. And if you speed this back up again, you should be able to see sort of an inchworm effect. Again, look up here, I think it'll be best. Each bar gets sort of longer and shorter as it moves along. And this is most visible for me if they're both the same color. Now you should really see those bars kind of stretching and squeezing as they go across. So that's the footstep solution, which was first described by Stuart Anstis in 2003 in a paper that I believe is publicly available, so I'll try to link it in the uh, description of the video here. Um, this program can also show the kickback effect, uh, and that's using this slider here, the bar ratio slider. This changes the amount of white and black in the background, change the relative thicknesses. So I think this works best with a little bit wider bars. So you should now see that the yellow rectangle is kind of jumping back as it goes across. It's sort of moving, jumping back, moving, jumping back getting kicked back each time it hits those black bars. And again, this is most visible for me when they're both the same color. So they're both having the effect. You should see the pair of them jumping back. And if they're both dark, they just sort of pause briefly at each intersection. And the opposite is true with thin white bars. You should now see these two kicking back, if you look up here. Pretty striking. And for some extra fun with this kickback illusion, you can do an odd number of bars for the foot lengths and get sort of a reverse worm effect. And the bars kind of look like they're worming in the opposite direction than they're traveling as the front and back ends sort of kick back one after the other. And if you make them yellow, they will just pause briefly as they go along. So that is the kickback effect, which was described by uh, Piers Howe, as well as Stuart Anstis and some other authors in 2006, and a really great paper that explains a number of other illusions at the same time, actually, and I will link that in the description as well. So I think you've seen most of the controls as I've played around with this. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find this program and play with it yourself, or again, if you're on my blog, it'll be right below you. I encourage you to mess around with it and enjoy the illusion.